Come on in, Jordan. Uh, I'm going to go through this real fast, and I, I want to make him available um, if you guys had any questions for him. Um, Jordan, Jordan came here, and I think he, he'll, he'll, test, he'll, he'll tell you why he came here. He came in here to be our starting power forward. Is that fair, fair to say? That's why we recruited him. Unfortunately, um, he's been injured. And he, he came here in, in, in the summer, um, right after he was finishing his schoolwork, he had, a, he had a surgery that I thought there was a calcium deposit uh, that was going to be removed from his kneecap, and it ended up being a lateral release, which is something that is with the tendon track or the kneecap track that, that really is, is, a, is a pretty good surgery. And the unfortunate situation was Jordan was, was back home and he didn't have the rehab that, that he should have probably have. And he'll, he'll let you know about, I mean, he'll, if you have a question about that. And then it took him a while to get back. And, and he understands it. He's been through a lot. And uh, I know a lot of people think that, that I've been really hard on him and haven't given him an opportunity. My disappointment with the whole situation is I feel bad for him. And, and I was really, um, it bothered me just because the poor kid's been hurt had nothing to do with what he's done off the floor, how he's been as a player. He's been an exceptional teammate. He has had no problems off the floor. Um, he's been incredible. And I think he, he'll tell you he's grown up more than he has in six months here than he has in his life, and, and I'm proud of him. But at this time, we are going to shut him down. He has a major bone spur that's the size of a – ball bearing on top of his foot. So every time that he lands on it, he's in excruciating pain. And um, that's one reason why he doesn't look like he shoots on balance. That's one reason why he doesn't land on his right foot. He has a major bone spur. And I felt it's my job as his coach, and I talked to him and his, his family and as one of his mentors, and, and it, it's just not fair to him. So at this time, we're going to have that, we're going to have his foot operate on this week. And they're going to remove that bone spur, and it's probably a four a four month process. Um, he want he wanted to continue to play, um, but at the end of the day, before we played Nevada, he just said, "Coach, I can't do it. It's just it bothers me too much, and it's my job to protect all my players, and especially him. And he's had an unfortunate luck with his with his body. He had his knee surgery, then he hurt his other knee, then he missed fourteen to fifteen days with a concussion, and he didn't practice. He only practiced two of our first 42 two practices, and then he had a quad strain. So it's not been a lot of fun for him. Um, one reason why I have him up here is he's not hiding from anything. I'm not hiding from anything. There's nothing he's done that he's just hurt, and that's sad because he's got a lot of talent. He's a great kid. We expected a lot of things from him, but at the same time, we weren't available to get a lot of his – potential or his ability playing wise because he was hurt and if you guys got any questions for him you can ask him he's he's pretty good he talks well <laughs> he's a good kid <laughs> how disappointing is it jordan i mean like coach said you'd come here with the anticipation of being a starter in this squad um this has been a daily grind every i'm just i come from something totally different than this um, coach, he put a lot of responsibility on me, and I've always been willing to accept it. But it's like you're willing to accept responsibility, then you get hurt day after day after day. And then with him, it's tough love. Like every day I come to practice, my foot hurt or my knee hurt, and I'm not going to tell coach. You know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's like a player mentality. But I try to come to practice every day, foot off the chain. It's just off the chart. And I just tried to play through it, but it's, it came to a point where it's, it was excruciating pain and I couldn't play through it anymore. But um, mentally, it's hard for me to just hang it up because my teammates, you build a brother, a brotherhood with your teammates, you get a bond with your coach. And then it's just like, I got to start from all over again. So, I mean, it's tough. But like, like Coach said, you got this decision got to be made. And that was what I had to make for myself and for the team. First, before we, what, what foot is it? It's the right foot. Right foot. Thank you. Did it get to be so painful that you decided I'm going to go talk to coach? How did that happen? When you made your decision? Um, it's been hurting for about since since beginning of the season. We had a scrimmage one day, and I was doing necessarily well, and I cut my tape off, and I had a like a baseball <laughs> size something like a bubble was swelling on my foot. 
And I, and that's what Nate was the trainer. And I, I came to Nate like, Nate, I don't know what it is. I mean, the next day it went down, but it has its ups and downs. So, I mean, one day I would be in, I, on a one to 10 scale, it would be like a five. Next day, a 10. I'm running in practice limping, you know what I'm saying? But coach can, he can see it, but I just keep going because it's not, I'm not a quitter. I I just didn't want to quit on my teammates. So every day was just a grind of, can you keep this up? And then just the other day it was like, man, I'm not playing how I'm used to playing. Like I'm used to being active all over the floor, being able to put the ball in the hole, even help my teammates. And, and it's like, I can't close out the way I want to close out. Boxing out, I put pressure on my foot. I'm, I'm jamming my foot off the ground. So it was like, it just became to a point where it's, I'm not being productive as much as I'm not being productive the way I want to be productive. So, And he, he to be honest with you, I came to him last week and I talked to him about because I can see it. I know him pretty well. And, and it's not, <laughs> I just told him, I said, how bad are you hurting? And he finally told me. So it's, it, I can see it. I, I know what he was last year. I saw him play last year. Uh, I know what he's capable of doing, but he's not capable of doing that with the, with the health of his body right now. Not only is it his right foot, but his left knee was the, the one that was surgically repaired. So he's had, he's had both legs where he's had issues with. And it hasn't been fun for him. And it's been very discouraging. Uh, but I will give him this, he's very tough. Uh, he tried to do it for his teammates. But at the end of the day, it's my job to protect him, and it just wasn't getting any better. And then I finally, we talked about it and had a good conversation, and, and this is best for him because if he goes and plays the rest of the season, he, we're not going to get what he can, what he can really do. Uh, he can't play. Something like the Wyoming game at halftime, he couldn't even put his shoe on. So, you know, it's been that situation where, you know, everybody's thinking that, He's in my doghouse or I'm mad at it. it. had nothing to do with that. He hasn't done anything. It's always been his health. And my upset or me being discouraged or, or everybody is because I feel bad for him because it's always been a health issue. It's never been anything else but a health issue. And when you come to practice and they tell you that a guy that's really, really talented that you see that can't go, then that it gets to you because you, want, you need him. You, your team needs him. And he just physically can't do it right now, and it's best that he gets it done because it's going to be about a four-month process. Jordan, you talked about how frustrating mm -hmm. it is knowing, you know, your jump shot's not there. You're not closing out on people. So that's the on-the-court stuff. The off-the-court stuff that Coach sort of talked about, people all season long, we've had it on TV, I've written about it, stuff like that. People just kind of keep having this perception that this was a, some sort of discipline or doghouse thing. Did that get to you? Did the off-the-court stuff get to you, people thinking that there was some, something else going on with all this? I don't see it. Like, <laughs> coach, I, I don't have I don't have a Twitter, so I mean I learned my lesson in the beginning of the season. I just don't see it. Like my my dad, and sister, brother told me don't don't pay attention to it. It's it's always a double edged sword to that. So I, me, I don't see. I don't look at it. It doesn't c catch my attention at all. What about what about the aspect of again? You said the on the court stuff, but not being able to show the fans. I mean, fifteen thousand fans watching you, and you've not yet been able to show them what you know you can do. Did that that bother you? That does bother me, and it's like a mental thing. I mean, I had, in my opinion, I had one good game or the George Mason game where I was able to, you know, scoring a lot of points doesn't necessarily mean you playing to your best ability, but, I mean, in my eyes, I'm used to scoring a, a 15, 16 points. That's junior college, but it's just it's going home every day knowing that you let your teammates down, your coach down, yourself down, your fans down, and it was just it just beats you up. And it was it was times where I called my dad. Was like, man, this this may be one of the hardest things I ever done in my life, and it, it's not easy. And coach always say it's gonna get harder and harder. So I mean that that does bother me, and it, and it's been bothering me for a, a couple couple of months now. But I mean, me personally, I know what I can do. I mean, if coach know what I can do, because if he didn't know, I wouldn't be here. The fans seen whatever they seen, but just me personally, it, it does, it gets to me. You don't have any doubts though, that you can at this level, Mountain West, Division One, or beyond level, that you can still compete, that this was just an injury situation this season that prevented you from showing that. You don't have any doubts about being able to compete at this level. When no. healthy? Not at all. Similar question, Jordan, but whether it was physical or mental, the toll that it took on you, did you ever consider quitting? 
Um, no, not at all. <laughs> I mean, my <laughs> mom. Quit. My mom was a she. She had chronic illness for eight years, and I watched my mom go to work every day, and she passed away in 2014. I mean, 2011. So it was never a thought about quitting because I watched a woman wake up every day and take care of me. So never, it was never an issue about quitting. Time for one more question. Is, so just to make sure then, is your intention then to come back and play next year or is this an injury that could hamper your entire career? Or? No. I don't think that's the case. I think what we're trying to do is get him as healthy as we can. Now, the, the period that we're talking about is that he's going to have his foot, they're going to take the spur out and then he'll be able to still continue doing uh, weightlifting and stuff to get his, his knee right. So he's going to be able to spend uh, he's really behind, and he'll tell you. Um, Jordan has had more structure um, probably this year than he's had in probably... Whole life? <laughs> well, not your whole life. But <laughs> he's had a lot of structure. And to his credit, he's never, ever wavered from it, but it's hard. And he, he'll tell you that. It's been very hard. And um, I think he realizes how hard it's going to be for him to come back. I think he realizes that he's got great resources here to help him come back. He's got a coach that believes in him, um, and I always have, and I've always protected him. Now, I've, I've shown more times where I've been upset, and it's all been because of his health. I've never one time told him I was upset with him or, or disappointed in him. I knew he was hurt, and that's why I went to him and said, hey, this isn't working because you're not healthy. And he said, coach, I can't run. And so. We decided to do this, but he's got to take this next opportunity to take it to another level as far as getting his whole body healthy. He's got to take care of his left knee. He's got to get rehab on that to make it stronger because it's not even close to being where it should be. It's hard for a guy to jump and shoot and rebound. And one thing that's hard with boxing out and screening is he'll never say this, but he's afraid to get, he's afraid to get hurt because he's got his left knee hurting, his right foot hurting, and that's not fun. And you know, the biggest thing I can do is, is, is go along with his wishes to get him healthy. Um, you know, it's a weird time in the year, but if we wait till the end of the year, then he's going to be four months removed. It's, it's, still, it's going to be a longer process. Now, we'll have a lot of options at the end of the year, and we're going to have to see how he comes back from this. Um, you know, it's hard for a guy to come in, and he, doesn't, he never would talk about redshirting this year because he wanted to play. He knew how much we wanted him and how much we needed him. It was never discussed. Uh, Arthur was a little bit different case because Arthur came from a junior college and he redshirted. So his issue was going to be a little different on uh, when his clock started and when he could do that. So there was never an issue where he could have done that. But Jordan maybe could have, but he never, we never talked about it. And there's, there's some possibilities that if, it doesn't, if he doesn't come back right, then we have to make some decisions to help him what's best for him. And each kid on my team, it's about each kid. And I think Jordan um, has, has been through a lot. He, he realizes what big time basketball is about now. He knows what kind of fan base we have. He knows what the expectations are. But I think he really, really knows how hard it is as far as getting himself back healthy. And I think he's willing to do that. And we've had that conversation. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it.